Next up, I would like to talk to you guys about the new 100E large frame contactors. So does anybody in here today use our 100D style contactors? It's our contactors once we get over about 96 amps. You're using the 100C for our smaller amperage contactors. When we move into the 100D range today, we're talking over that amperage. The 100E is going to be the replacement of the 100D line. So about March of next year, if you're using 100D products, we need to shift you to the 100E product. And you're probably saying, what's different about the 100E? Why should we change? So they have made them smaller. The footprint is smaller. You're going to be able to optimize more panel space by moving to the 100E. Additionally, we still have a field changeable coil, so you can, use, you can repair your coils in the field, change them out, not a big deal. The contactor itself is more power efficient, so you might be able to downgrade some of the specs for your power supplies and transformers and CTs by switching over to the 100E. We still offer safety solutions with the 100E, so if you're using our 100D safety contactors, you can also go ahead and use 100E safety contactor options. Um, have a complete line of accessories, you'll see overloads that will connect straight to the 100E, so no need to worry about that. And we have a, um, a larger rating available, so we're going to go up to 2,650 amps with the 100E product. Once again, if you're using 100Ds, let's give us a call and let's work to switch you to the 100Ds before March of next year.